Hello, uh, this is going to be the tutorial where I show you how to make the knee control. Um, should be fairly quick. I'll show you what the knee control does in this file here. Uh, it's this control here, and uh, when you grab it, the knee points in the direction of the knee control. So you can see that moving. Uh, also, the knee control is the child of the overall foot control, so when you rotate the overall foot control, the knee uh, points in the uh, same direction as the foot. So, I'll go back to the file that we've got here. This is, uh, if you've been following the tutorials, then this is how far we've got. We've got the uh, IK foot placement, and we've got the uh, foot roll control. Uh, check out the other tutorials if you want to see how to make those. But, uh, yeah, this is the knee control tutorial. So, uh, first we need to make that bone that's going to be the, uh, the uh, knee control. So, we'll tab into edit mode. Select this bone, press Shift D to duplicate it, and then Control to lock it to the grid, and then I just placed it right in front of the knee. Because I duplicated it from this bone, um, and this bone is the child of the overall foot control, this knee control is also the child of the overall foot control, just what like we want it to be. Um, but uh, there were some other properties that were copied across uh, with the bone uh, that we don't want. So we'll tab out of edit mode into pose mode to uh, correct those uh, properties that we didn't want. Now one of those is a constraint, there was a constraint on this uh, bone uh, that we don't want on this bone so we'll come to the bone constraints panel and uh, here's the unwanted constraint and I'll just delete it. Um, another thing that we want to change uh, is the axes that are available for movement for this bone so we'll just come to the uh, transform gizmo here and uh, click on it so I've turned it on so we can see which ones are available and only the Y axis is available but it's probably best to have all three available so I'll press N to bring up the properties panel then I'll um, click on these padlocks uh, to deselect the padlock and uh, free up the other transform channels and there you can see X, Y and Z all available um, uh, next I think I'll uh, name the bone. Uh, we can do that here just by closing these tabs until we get down to the item then we'll call it knee. And uh, another thing is the shape uh, that's being used to represent the bone. Um, it's obviously the double arrow but that doesn't make a, a lot of sense for the knee target control so um, I'm going to change that. So I'll come to the uh, bone panel, I'll just resize this a bit, then scroll down to the bottom where the display section is. I'll change uh, the shape that's being, or the mesh that's being used from widget arrows to widget circle, I think. That's a bit better. So there it is being represented by a circle. Okay, now we want to make the um, IK constraint, which is on the leg, uh, take into consideration the position of the knee control. Uh, so we'll do that by uh, altering the uh, IK constraint, uh, which controls the whole leg, uh, the thigh and the shin, but is placed on the shin. So uh, we need to be able to select the shin, but actually in the last tutorial uh, I made it unselectable. Um, so we need to change that by coming to the outliner, and then uh, inside the armature, the object called armature, and inside its pose, I'll just close the foot, um, and uh, underneath the hip and the thigh is the shin and I've just clicked on that to make it selectable again um, so when I click on it in the 3D viewport uh, and uh, I come to the uh, bone constraints panel here you can see the IK constraint which is controlling the leg and uh, you can see the pole target is currently empty um, we want to set the pole target as uh, the knee control there so I'll choose the armature um, as the object and uh, inside the armature we want the knee uh, and there it is uh, except for um, uh, it's made the uh, IK chain point at 90 degrees to the knee so um, that's easy to fix by coming to the pole angle here and uh, it'll either be 90 or minus 90 uh, I believe that for this rig it's minus 90 uh, yeah. and there it is the knee is now pointing in the direction of the knee control and when I grab the knee control and move it around, the knee continues to point it in that direction. And also, uh, when uh, we select the foot overall foot control and rotate that, the um, knee continues to point in the same direction as the foot because 
uh, the knee control is a child of the oval foot control. So that's great. I'll just hide the properties panel. Um, that's all set up. And I could just make the uh, shin bone unselectable again. So I'll come back to the, I'll deselect the shin bone and then come to the uh, outline of view and then find the shin again. Just make it unselectable by clicking on that arrow. So that's how to set up the uh, knee control. And uh, the next tutorial will be how to set up uh, the foot roll control, which will be similar to the Oh no, sorry. <laughs> the next tutorial is how to set up the foot tumble control, uh, which will be similar to the foot roll control. Uh, this is the foot roll control. Um, uh, the tumble foot tumble control uh, will make the foot rotate from side to side like this, uh, around one pivot on the inside and a separate pivot on the outside, so that the foot never um, intersects the ground when you want to rotate it from side to side. So, thanks for watching. Hope the video was useful and hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.